Hello, and welcome to another time-lapse tutorial. So this time I'm going to be making this um, uh, enemy for the game I'm working on. It's kind of like an alien leech sort of creature. I'm going to be going through the high-resolution sculpt all the way through to retopology, UV unwrapping, and even exporting the normal maps. So let's begin. So in 3D code, I'm just going to close that, and I'm already in a new project, so I can just go to the sculpt room to start out with. So before we begin, I want to really stress the importance of having good reference when you're sculpting something, especially something that doesn't exist in the real world. So when you're like me and you can't draw very well, it's important that you gather reference images that are close to what it is you're trying to do. So what we're trying to make here is kind of a space leech. So I've got one of those right here with um, this type of mouth. Um, and it's going to have a, sort of a spine that looks kind of like this creature's. And it's going to have some segmented back plates like this and some fins that look kind of like the ones on this lionfish. And then it's going to have um, what I believe the technical term is a uh, proboscis, sort of like this up here that's tipped with uh, a stinger that looks similar to what we have up here. So really what we're doing is we're taking a wide variety of elements from many different sources and we're going to combine them into one creature that hopefully looks very interesting and scary. But it's important that you collect good reference and make sure it's of a wide variety of subjects. You never know in the middle of sculpting I may decide that, oh, I like this feature of this particular reference image, or you may see something that you weren't necessarily planning on creating when you made the original, or when you were originally coming up with the concept in your head. So I'm going to keep this just, I'm going to keep this handy so I can keep referencing back to it, and whenever we're moving on to a specific part of the model that draws from one of these reference images, I'll be sure to tell you exactly what it is we're getting inspiration from or what it is that we're trying to recreate. So to start with, we're going to make the body of the leech because we always want to start simple and for that we're mainly going to be recreating this form that you see here on the left. Alright, so in 3D Coat the way that we're going to start this model is with a curve. So if I go down here to my Objects tab and I go to Curves, I've bound a hotkey to this called Shift-C. You can use whatever hotkey you want, but that's how I will typically access it. But, it is, but if you don't have a hotkey still, it's down here and under Objects, so Curves. Okay, so the uh, curve here that you can see this little green dot, it may be a little hard to see, but that's it's starting out fairly small right now, so there's a couple ways you can change this. We can either scroll up with my mouse wheel, which will make it a little bit bigger, or you can click to place it, and then you can right-click and drag on the point itself, and that will also increase its size. So another thing I want to make sure of before I really get started here is that I have symmetry enabled along the x-axis. So let's make our first curve. And again, going back to the reference, it's some, a pretty simple shape. I'm going to exaggerate the uh, sort of the profile of this a little bit. It's going to be very wide at the uh, at the front, and then it's going to quickly drop off to be narrow and then stay narrow for the remainder of the tail. So I will then place another point. I can middle click and drag the point to move it around.
And then I can also point, put a point in the middle here. So I can just click right there, and now I have a point in the middle, and I can move that around to further refine the shape of my curve. All right, that's looking pretty good. However, I'm not happy with the fact that, as you see there at the very tips, it's a flat end. I don't like that. I want this to be a rounded end. That'll be easier for us to work with. I might actually make this a little bit bigger while I'm here. So the way to fix that is the profile. We can change the profile to a variety of things. In my case, I, the reason why it's flat is because it is set to straight. So if I change that to hemisphere, then you'll see we get a rounded end. There's also a wide variety of other options you can use. We could do a cone or a spike, which would really narrow off the back, but we don't want that. I don't want it to be that pointy. I'm just going to leave it at hemisphere. And then I will hit enter in order to add it into my scene. So now we have our base, and it looks like there's a tiny bit of a ridge over here. Not sure how well that's uh, showing up, but just real quickly, I'll go in with my build brush, hold down shift, and you see that green line is the smoothing strength, and I'll just smooth that down a bit. We're gonna be adding a lot more detail to this later, so it doesn't necessarily, so if you see little defects like that at this stage, that's not super important, just clean them up real quick and you'll be fine. Okay, I'll rename my layer. 